We begin tonight with a Lynn County program that offers workshops to adults with disabilities soon coming to an end. Today, a task force went before the Lynn County Board of Supervisors to give its recommendations for the future of options of Lynn County. CBS News reporter Mugo Odigwe joins us now live to explain. Mugo, good evening. Good evening to you, Joy. And one thing is for sure, options of Lynn County can no longer continue as is. So the next step is finding support for families and clients in the face of the new changes. This is where some in the community have come to work for years now, but that's about to change. Those changes were laid down during Wednesday's Board of Supervisors meeting. The rehabilitation program needs to be restructured with a greater focus on community integration. They are doing it to comply with Olmstead guidelines. That law requires states to place people with mental disabilities in community settings instead of in institutions. That, along with funding issues and the minimum wage debate, is why the options of Lynn County program can no longer continue as is. We would have more activities in the community, whether it would be um, going to the Y, going to a shopping center. There's also the sheltered workshop side of the program. Right now, it's slated to close in June 2016. The hope is to find other options for those currently in the program. I'm making it a, a personal goal of mine to meet with area employers and hiring managers to educate them on the benefits of hiring people with a disability because there are tax credits and tax incentives for businesses that they might not be aware of. Lynn County Supervisor Ben Rogers says the focus is on moving forward. And so really at the end of the day it's going to take uh, disability advocates, family members, county government and the private sector to really embrace this change. So that next step comes next Monday. That's when the Board of Supervisors will likely approve the recommendations. Live at 5, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.